Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's uh, Titan TV webinar series in lieu of NAB TV show. So one of the things that we're going to go over today is a tenor web. But first, for those of you that might be new to our webinar series, let us introduce ourselves. I am Heidi Steffen. I'm the Senior Vice President of Sales and Marketing with Titan TV. And with me is Chelsea, Chelsea. Stumpf. I am the Broadcast Manager um, for the Broadcast Tools a uh, product manager, and I also handle all of the trainings on all of our products, which I know I've talked to almost most of you. <laughs> and as a reminder, throughout the entire webinar, if you have any questions, please go ahead and put those in the question section. Chelsea will help um, go through those and bring them up and we'll go over through everything. This is probably be a short one today. There's not a lot to cover, partly because it's a pretty easy site to go to. But for those that aren't familiar, Titan TV also owns the consumer site called AttenaWeb.org. To give you a little bit of a history, this site was originally um, launched back at the digital transition in 2009. This is sponsored with the CTA and NAB were the ones that we originally launched it with to help consumers find out where the digital channels were in their markets and how they could get it with an antenna. Since then, it's really evolved. A lot of cord cutters come here. This site was heavily also used for the repack transition. So consumers could come here and find out, are they being re in, uh, affected by the repack? How they were being infected? What channels? Where were they moving? And this was a great site for that. We've now expanded it to next gen, which is really exciting. And we're gonna walk through this on how you can then send your viewers to find out how they can find you via the new next gen. So first of all, you're gonna to come to the homepage here, which is attenaweb.org, and just have them put in their zip code. I'm just gonna use one out of Nevada. Um, so if I click on go, this is gonna take me to the results page. Now I'm gonna go over a few of the things here for you and just kind of highlight some. The first thing is here at the top, it reinforces this is what you're looking for. It says in this particular uh, zip code, I can get 105 channels over the air with an antenna from 28 over the air stations to receive it. And it talks to you about the full results below. Now this information will show up when this particular location does have next gen channels. So if I would put in a different zip code, for example, that doesn't have next gen, this information would go away. One of the things that we did add was now this new schedule. So I'll get into that as we get further into it, but I just wanna point this out and we'll come back to it. So I'm now gonna scroll down, all the way down to here. Um, so this is actually the list then of that zip code of where all the channels that are currently available from that. Now I'm gonna point out a few things. First of all, the color code. This color code is the CTA color code for outdoor antenna types. All the different antenna manufacturers that are part of the CTA then on their boxes or on their websites have this color code. So this allows consumers to say, if I want to receive all these in this area, I need at least a yellow, which up here kind of gives you a quick information of what those different antenna type colors are. You can learn more about that by go clicking learn more about antennas. We have a whole page on this website that talks more in details about antennas and information you want. We also have a new section and links to other videos that consumers link to to learn more about antennas as well. But as we scroll down, I want to kind of point out that the colors do change because the further they are away from the particular consumer's home, the different kind of antenna that they're going to need. So if I want to reach all the way to this one, I need this blue, as it says up here. The other thing to point out with that is on this map down here is where that is going off of. So this is me as the consumer, and it goes in the directions of the towers. One thing I want to point out, as sometimes happens, I can move this, and this will automatically adjust my results. So for example, maybe I put in the address wrong or I need to adjust it, I can then move that pointer to where I want. And you'll see all of a sudden I picked up another station because I moved that location. And that's a thing to, to be very clear about with consumers if they happen to call in and say, I'm not getting your signal with an antenna. 
there's a lot of factors. Are they in the tent of pointing the direct right direction or are there big trees, hills in their way that they can't receive it? So if I scroll up, and then let's say I just wanna know the next gen channels. We've added this little thing here just to show next gen channels in a market. And then as you scroll down, you would have seen these little check marks. So these are the particular channels right here that are now next gen that are airing in that market. A few things I wanna point out. Right now, a channel is like KLSA DT. With next gen, the abbreviation is now KLAS NG 8.1. So that is one way you can tell that it's a next gen channel. I can also click on this, and this is going to tell me what is currently airing on that next gen channel per of our Titan TV listings. If you are one of our MediaStar scheduler users, this is coming directly from your MediaStar. So when we talk about when you publish and that metadata is going out to update the guide in your website, and also if you have our piece of data, it's also updating our different guide products, including this one that is being utilized here on Atena Web. So let me return to station list here. Now, if I uncheck this, and let me go, I just go back to the regular KLSA, because I want to show you the difference. You'll see now the regular KLAS gives me all the digits. So here are all of them, including some of them that the, the channel numbers are different. And this is due to channel sharing because of, this is a 3.0 market and they needed to move some of the channels to other towers to be able to then broadcast the 3.0 on another tower. But it just gives again the consumers a quick view of what's on those stations. Because what we've learned over the years, a lot of times consumers don't know what's on them. They can't tell well, what's me TV. If you haven't watched me TV, you're not going to necessarily know, but you go, oh, Gunsmoke, I remember that show. Yeah, I need to make sure I turn there to watch it. So we're just trying to provide all the information we can in a quick snapshot to the consumers to let them know once they get an antenna and they set it up, here's some things that they'll be able to see. Now, I want to jump up here to these. So we get a lot of recommendations or requests. Can you recommend a tower, uh, an antenna for my home? There Again, there are too many factors for that. So what we do is we have these ready to buy. These are uh, companies that partner with us to be able to provide antennas to consumers. So for example, if I go to Channel Master, and you remember the one if I want to get the furthest out is this blue, right? So I go to Channel Master. It then provides me these different options. Again, if I was really only concerned with the ones that were showing up in yellow, and again, I want to emphasize these are for outdoor antennas either, or currently right now, there is not a color standard for indoor antennas at this point. But let's say I actually want to go blue, it's going to, if I click on it right, maybe, it'll take me to Channel Master and I can then go ahead and purchase the antenna that recommends it. But it also gives you options, and I think that's what we want to provide to all our consumers, are options to those um, other sites. So here's another one related to Antenna Top, or uh, Antop, um, and then Antenna Deals is another one. we have any questions come in yet, Chelsea? Um, no questions yet. Um, I just want to remind people that there is a question section on the dashboard. So if you have any questions for Heidi, please let us know. Now I'm gonna jump back up here to your ske the schedule here. So down below, I show you where the consumers can click and just see a snapshot. Here is where they can actually click on a schedule just for their location. So again, I was able to move that around. It is now building dynamically that schedule for their location. And you're gonna see right away, there are two 3.1. But if I hover over it, you'll see again, there's those call letters, KSNV-NG. So this is the next gen channel versus this one is the DT because we know at some point the content will be different. And we just wanna let consumers know, depending on what television they have, here are the different program they can have. This is very similar to the next gen guide that might be on your website. One thing you will notice, we don't have any show cards on this particular one. We wanted to kind of keep it uh, just clean for this particular site but it goes all the way down. So these are all the over the air channels this particular consumer could receive from their home if they purchase an outdoor antenna and put it up in the right direction. And once they have this, so if I go back to, to antenna web homepage here now, now that it's kind of saved mine, if I click on my schedule, it's gonna take me right back to that guide. So 
and I ended up picking a spot that was a, a traffic route. The beauty of moving things around on a map. Um, so there is my schedule. And we have noticed that consumers are they're coming back to here to be able to find out what's on over the air. The other thing that I really wanted to point out, because this site is a consumer educational site, we have a whole tab up here on NextGen TV. And we referenced several other sites that I want to make sure that your station is aware of that you can also utilize or send consumers to as well. We did partner with Pearl TV and then also ATSC um, organization on a lot of this wording. We They'd already done a lot of the consumer research on the verbiage and things like that. So we just utilize what they've already done and has worked. And then we put it on the site to then also then help inform and educate consumers. So the first slide I wanna talk about is this watch next gen TV. The reason I wanna point this out, it is a good resource related to buying television. As of now, what we've learned is a lot of the new television sets don't necessarily have this next gen logo on it to say this television set has an next gen chip in it, for example. So instead, Pearl has done a really good job of partnering with these different TV manufacturers. And if you go down their website here, um, you actually have a link right to this. And we here at Titan TV just recently purchased a television. So for example, I went on to the LG site and then this gives me all the models of the next gen televisions that would be available currently from LG. We do, do know that this list is going to be continuing to expand. And I think the lowest one is actually a Sony television. Um, I think the lowest right now is like $500. Um, and they don't have prices right on here, but I do know that is they have one out, it's their low end. But so, you know, the lower the TV is, more consumers are going to adapt it. And the last side I wanna kinda go into is also then here, we also then link to the ATSC. This is related to deployments. So some consumers might be interested, but this is constantly updated then by ATSC on deployments. Some things to point out are the current ones with ATS 3.0, the ones that are currently being readied and then announced target market. And with that, if your station is in the process of going live with ATSC, if you could let us know as well, because this is something that we wanna make sure that it's updated, especially over here on Atena Web, because this particular result goes off of, oh, yep, we'll go here, um, all of the things that we have in our system. So if we don't know that your particular station has gone and we weren't able to get it from other things, um, it wouldn't necessarily show up to these consumers that is now available. This also would allow us, if you do have peace up with us and you're needing the ESG data service, we can go ahead and get that to you as well and make sure it's ready before you do your launch. Are there any questions or anything else you wanna add, Chelsea? Um, there's no questions right now, no. It's a quiet group today. <laughs> it is a quiet group. So what I'm gonna point out here are some other things. So if you want to direct your consumers um, with questions to the site, here are some things you can do. Um, this particular article here, the TV's next big, big thing was actually put together by Pearl TV. They go over everything. Again, this is heavily consumer centric on things that are they shown through their studies that consumers are excited about. And one of the things that we found out and I thought was interesting as well, is that the first thing consumers are most excited about with 3.0 is the advanced audio. Uh, so like me, I've lost part of my hearing, so it'll be great that I can be able to then all of a sudden have some of the background noise go a little quieter and the voices go up and then I'll be able to actually hear some of the conversations on the movies or shows. The second thing the consumers were most excited for were the, was the advanced EPG or electronic program guide on the end devices, so the television. So what we're looking to do and we're helping with others in the industry is help to um, enhance that. So. Some of our future webinars coming up in the in lieu of NAB show is going to be focused on that. But this article kind of talks a little bit about those findings that they had. We all talked about that. And then here are some, here's one, improve your indoor TV antenna reception. So antenna man, Mr. Tyler is a great resource as well to direct your consumers to. He also does um, help with installments and he doesn't have to be from his location. 
So a lot of times if you have a consumer or we have consumers email us and want to know about, I need to have this antenna, I direct them to him and then he can take it from there. Again, there's a lot of factors involved of why a consumer may or may not receive a particular channel from their home. I've always recommended or best practice to hand it off to a professional that that's what they do on a regular basis. And then they may be actually able to go to their location and help them set it up. Um, but there's also things how to then, you know, scan your channel. Uh, and it just kind of goes more into all that. Or TV tuner on your phone. Let's go to viewing options. Um, these are just other options if people are looking for other things to watch. And here's the page all on antenna info. There is a lot of information on here. It's detailed, but again, it's really meant for consumers and let them better understand. Um, we're always open also to suggestions. If you think there is anything that we can improve on this site that would help consumers, maybe find your station um, or anything like that, or something's come up that you get the question quite often, is that something we could add to this site? We can do that as well. And we do recommend that you refer anyone to the site as well to help them find out what they can do. And then the last page is just our partners. So again, we have partnered with CT and NAB and we're constantly in communication with them, especially if we make any updates to the site that help promote it and just kind of stay in tune with everything that's really needed. And then we have some of these other partners that are involved. And then, so these three are CTA. So if you would, anyone would purchase an antenna from them, it would have that color code. And these are two additional ones that are also CTA members that sell antennas that would also have the color code. Like I said, it was going to be a short one. There wasn't really a lot to go over, but it was really meant to let you and educate you on the site so that if you have consumers calling in and want to know how to find you or can they get you with the 3.0, or also just make sure engineers go here and say, hey, are we showing up correctly on antenna web? If not, reach out to us. It's the same email, customercare at titantv.com. And we can actually get them access to tech specs that allows your engineer to verify all of your signal predictions and parameters are set up correctly in our system. They can make, make edits if not. And that way, this site is always then pulling your correct information for your station. One last out there, anyone have any questions, comments? I'd love to know if this was beneficial, uh, if you've been on the site before, if you've used it any information or feedback you can provide. Chelsea, do you have any experience with the web that you wanna talk about? Um, not in particular, it is very user-friendly. Um, it's as simple as, you know, putting your address in to find out what channels you have. Um, I am one that has cut the cord, I don't know, a decade ago. <laughs> it's been a long time. Um, and it's always been very easy to use. Um, if I had to do any updates, it's very easy. Yep, and I agree with that. We've used it quite a few times on our own house, my parents' house, and it's really more once we get the antenna, um, what kind of antenna do we need? And then when we go to install the antenna, my husband uses it to know which direction to actually place that antenna. So again, if I go back here to the results page, um, he's and it's mobile, it's mobile responsive. He's been on our roof with his mobile phone and had antenna web using to put the uh, antenna in the right direction. So, and it just tells you where you want. So I might not get the station because of the antenna and I just wanna get these, that's okay. So we would make sure we had it in that, what is that, southeast direction of the home? Well, it doesn't look like there's any questions, which isn't always a bad thing. Again, for everyone that registered, we will go ahead and send out a link to this in a day or so, so that you have a copy of this. And if you wanna forward it out to anyone else, We'll also put it on our YouTube channel so that we can, anyone else that might wanna see can just link directly there and see the video or any of our previous webinars are also on that Titan TV channel there. And then we just wanna thank you. Any thoughts, feedback, comments, we're always open to them. So just email them to customercare at titantv.com. Otherwise, thanks again and everyone have a great day. Bye-bye.